everybody in. I actually like scared the living crap out of me. I didn't show it, but it does take it off. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Friday night, afternoon, evening, dusk, dawn, whatever day you want to call it. Early I, evening. Early evening. I don't know if you're watching California, it may be different. Live stream. I have the thumbs up from Chris. My name is Connor. I am also Chris. Now I'm Andrew. Uh, tonight we are building Silver Surfer. So this is a gaming and streaming PC aimed at 1080p, 144 hertz gaming, so that high refresh rate while streaming. So you need more CPU cores. We'll get into that. So we are based around an AMD Ryzen 7 3800X that Connor has over on his side, which will be cooled by a Be Quiet Dark Rock 4 cooler. Both of those will be attached to a RG Strix B550F gaming motherboard. Paired with 32 gigabytes of DDR4-3200 Team T-Force Vulcan Z. We have two HP NVMe SSDs, a 512 gig and a 1 terabyte. We have a NVIDIA RTX 2060 Super Founders Edition, 8 gigabyte for the gaming that happened on. We have a 750 watt Seasonic Gold Platinum Trials. Platinum. Gold power supply. They see something. <laughs> gold platinum. A gold platinum. Uh, we have a fractal design Meshify C white for all that to be installed into. And we have some Fantex fans pre-installed in there for additional cooling. So Connor's already way ahead of me as usual. Yeah. As he can't wait for me to finish listing components. Gotta jump into it. He's gonna get right into it. Someone's got a hot date tonight. With I will say. With this, Taco Bell. This is one of my favorite uh, Aces boards. It Just is because nice. it, it looks very like cyberpunky, it's, very uh It's got the gamer cool. aesthetic. It's got the gamer aesthetic. It's got all the features, you know, you want. It's got that built-in Wi-Fi. It's got plenty of tooling for the VRMs and all that good stuff. Just it's a good board. The B550 chipset is a nice one. It is. It's it, it kinda comes into where it's pushing on the X570 chipset and taking its place because X570 doesn't really have any huge advantages. <laughs> so, yeah. See, this is a new oh. kind of flex. You can just take one screw out for every screwdriver that you have. Oh, you're gonna rotate? And just, just, you don't even have to take the screws off the screwdriver. You just take them out. <laughs> we have set the screwdrivers down. We have Ana in the chat who's the kind of, of being told in my earpiece. I see. <laughs> it's by Chris who is behind the camera. <laughs> You guys we, may we... be able to hear Chris in the background over there. Probably. He is monitoring the chat, so if you guys have anything to say or want to say to us or have any questions, feel free to drop them there. Chris will probably not alert us about it and then proceed I'll to answer it. it. I've got it open now. Sorry. Before we even get to yeah, it. Yeah, he does like to answer things for me. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like my only job here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 80% of what I do. And I, I really do love modular power supplies with the bracket system for the case. It just makes it so easy. It absolutely does. Because first, I can just put this bracket on with no cables in the way. Just plug some cables in there. Let's see, I'm guessing I'm going to be looking at an 8-pin CPU. My educated guess. 8 and a 4. And a 4. And okay, a four. Strix. Okay, Asus. Calm down there. Yeah, the Strix always overpowers. I mean, they have ample. Yeah, it's pretty unnecessary for the... For the chipset and everything, but you know what? Okay. I guess you can install a 3950X in there, so you know. You can. Right. And it's probably not very expensive. We're not actually going to use a bunch of people drivers. <laughs> That's the that that would be 12 of them. I do not need 14 B5 screwdrivers. I think you should. We will have another one because yep. we have another dark rock, which we already opened because we need to test the size of our next build. Test some fit tolerances of the case. Where'd you guys put the uh, hardware though for? That is a very good question. Uh, I think I grabbed it right here. I got it, I got yep. it. I did grab it when I grabbed the cooler, I just forgot to put it with I was like, ah, uh, where's the, the actual things? They don't need no hardware. You don't need to attach it. We'll just set it on top of it and then just, it'll stay on there with hopes and dreams. If it was my computer, we'd be using zip ties. <laughs> That's very true. Zip ties hold very well. <laughs> Is old they do. The finest supercomputers in the world are zip ties. They use them for cable or melting. Not melting. 
plug in this 24 pin. And I am installing our cooling coolers bracket. Uh, wise word of advice that we have learned. Do this now. Do not install your cooler. Put it in the case first, then install your cooler. At least you don't have to do the backlight because A and B. True. So uh, my, my friend last night, there were like six of us in Discord with him. Uh, he, we were helping him build a, a gaming computer, basically. Just we're using his old case and like one or two other things, he drives. Um, but, he, you know, Bunny's a little tight sometimes. And he got a, he went to Canada Computers with parts. He got a Gamax, no, a Deep Cool Gamax 4 CPU cooler, which is kind of like a, a knockoff 212 Evo. The mounting hardware on that thing is rough. A, a knockoff 212 oh, yeah <laughs> yeah dear but it was that was it probably took about half an hour to get the back plate and the, the top of the board things installed that's <laughs> no that's no yeah it was, it was rough so that's part of what you're what you're getting when you get a more mid-tier or premium cooler is ease of install yes because i was watching him do that just thinking about ace attack mounting hardware how easy it is. Yep. I mean, truthfully though, the easiest is the AM, AMD stock cooler. It's just literally well, it, clip down, okay. you're done. <laughs> I can argue Intel's even easier than that when they're stock cooler, but they don't really include Well, see, that one anymore. you gotta push in four pins though. They don't really even include those anymore. No, they don't. Because he got a an i5-9600 and he didn't get a cooler with it. They only include them on like the 3000, or the, the i3s, I think. Yeah, the very, or the, the AP, not AP, what are they called? Celerons and Pentiums that are like way at the bottom. Yep. Okay, so I think this is all the cables I need. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and Through the case. We can toss in our M.2s now. So, are, oh. are you ready for your, uh, your weekly I learned a thing today? So usually these boards will have an NVMe slot either directly below or right next to the top PCI Express slot that we use for graphics cards, right? So in this case, it'd be this one. Yep. And that's just, it's basically a piece of metal that goes over the, the little thumbstick SSD to help it keep its temperature regulated and all that good stuff. Well, today I was learning it also has kind of a secondary same purpose in that a lot of graphics cards will be they have their fins vertically in relation to that SSD. So that should be blowing hot air directly onto it. So that heat, heat spreader actually helps keep that heat away from the sensitive man on that SSD. Hmm. So that's another reason they include the heat spreaders. It's not even really to manage the heat of that SSD. That is interesting. I did not actually know that. Yeah, see, there's your weekly item. Weekly, yeah. <laughs> Gotta have one per week. I feel like we need to talk about the 3090, but I feel like we also shouldn't talk I mean, about the 3090. Yeah, I guess I'll... I'm not gonna have anything to do here in a few minutes. So. <laughs> well, we can hold off on that comment. Hey, yeah. For future! Hey, with well, hey, stick around if you want to hear about our opinions about the 3090. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there isn't too much to talk about, honestly, with it. I did find the time to load up all the numbers on. So, this... We will not spoil it. This founder's... I just love the presentation, oh, I do. if nothing else. I mean, NVIDIA okay. does unboxings so not, well. Not the cooler, necessarily. The cooler's okay, compared to other older Founders Editions coolers, uh, in terms of looks. But, uh, what's the graphics card? I'm, I'm assuming you mean this one. This is a 2060 Super Founders Edition. The one we were just talking about is the, uh, RTX 3090, which is NVIDIA's new, I guess you call it flagship? Because it's the most expensive, $1,500 Workstation, but not it's really the, workstation. It's the gaming flagship. Yeah, it's in big quotes on gaming. On it's been one. kind of a weird launch. We're not really sure what they want. But... Oh wow, they even they cut a hole in the plastic for the slot. I know. I'm telling, like Nvidia does one thing amazing, which is unboxing every in actual Nvidia OEM Nvidia card that you'll get has an amazing unboxing That's experience. It. And that is one thing that they do phenomenally. Yeah. Um, one of my favorites is actually the, um, just, just rip it, there you go. 
is the Star Wars editions. Uh, the Titan XP's oh. Star Wars edition. Those were very cool cards. I had the opportunity to buy one. The other... Uh, no, no, like no. You can't buy just one. You have to have a... I know. You have to have the... Oh, gosh. We're going to mess it up. We're going to Star Wars lore. You have to have the Republic, and you have to have the Resistance. Right? Is that right? I think so. I don't know. There's a bunch of different groups in, in those series. But yes, tonight we're using the 2060 Founders Edition. Yeah, I had the opportunity to actually buy one. It was only $1,000, too. I mean, I had the opportunity to buy a 3090 today, and here I sit, not $1,500 <laughs> poor. <laughs> so, I guess I'll go ahead and start talking about that a little bit. So, they launched a new 3090, I guess it was yesterday. The review embargoes went up yesterday, and the actual, like, first, you can buy them now, yeah. went up yesterday at 9 a.m. Yep. Easter. So, it's their new top-of-the-line card as of now on their Ampere architecture, so new 3000 series cards. Um, it retails for $1,500, and it's basically a 10-15% to 15 faster 3080, which we saw last week. Two weeks ago, yep. Time flies. Um, 10 to 15% faster and double the price. It has more video memory, which is traditionally a workstation thing, but they're marketing it as a gaming graphics card for 8K gaming. But it's not really 8K because it's upscaled 4K with AI. It's, yeah, it's DLSS 2.0. And then... It's a whole thing. <laughs> I mean, the biggest thing to take away from the launch, though, and this is one thing that I will absolutely attest to, is not the actual cards itself. Mm -hmm. It's the accessories and extras that come along with it. That's true. So you have NVIDIA Broadcast, which we were testing out today. We can't do it, unfortunately, because it decides to blur everything, including in front of you. Everything that's on us. So, yeah, if you have a box in front of you, like, hey, a motherboard, it would blur <laughs> it out. Blurred out. <laughs> but it was actually working really, really it, well. Yeah, so I've used that at home uh, for my Discord and Zoom calls. Yep. So it's that you have your a uh, the the big thing is the AI upscaling so DLSS 2.0 which is also supported on 2000 series cards which is yeah supported on older cards well all these softwares are and that's why it's such a big thing of of a lot of people don't really realize that but the value that comes out of this is insane because yeah. a lot of people now on cards you know that couldn't play 4K now. Uh, you know, 2070, 2070 Ti can play 4K. 2060 can. And 26, this card can do 4K with DLSS 2.0. Yep. Just in, in supported games. Yeah, in supported games. And what that does is it uses, it renders it out in a lower resolution. Yeah. The actual game. Then it uses AI to then automatically figure out where the corners and things are and the details. It does a very good job. And then automatically then renders those out at the projected resolution of. For example, in this one was 4K. Yep. And actually, when you're looking at two monitors running native 4K and upscaled, it's very difficult. Oh, it's almost impossible. Difference. Yeah. Like, it does a very good job. They've trained the models ahead of time and all that, so. It is uh, a super cool technology. That's what a lot of people are glossing over, which is kind of a bummer in all reality. I think that's the big thing, because now the cards that you continuously buy or the, the older cards that you buy or have already in your system and things like that are now getting a massive performance increase for yep. zero dollars. Now all you're doing is just click update. Now a lot of those technologies, including RTX Voice Broadcast and uh, DLSS 2.0, either only work on 2000 series and up, or only work best. Yeah. So they, I know, um, I can't remember if it was Steve or Linus on YouTube, did a DLSS kind of deep dive this week, and they found that the He's 1080s. Linus. Yeah, the 1080 Ti can do it, but because it lacks those tensor cores, um, that the, the AI optimized cores, it really takes a big performance hit doing it. So, and that's it's almost not worth it. Yeah, it's really not worth on those cards. So. Yeah, it's just it's a super cool technology. It's like buying a you know Toyota Camry and then magically just going in, clicking update, and then magically you now get. 100 extra horsepower. <laughs> I think you mean Tesla, because that's the real thing. <laughs> True. <laughs> they released a, uh, an update this week for Model Ys, I believe it was. Um, for $2,000, you can increase your 0 to 60 speed from 3.8 to 3.2 seconds. Was oh, that like the performance of it? Yeah, I, yeah I, it just I unlocks quicker that. acceleration for $2,000. It's like car DLC is here. No one tell EA. <laughs> they Tesla on... is the EA of car dealers. Yeah, but at least they make a good product. 
speak of that. This, this card looks pretty good. It, no, it, right. it, it, it does. Look. It's alright. I do actually I'm, really I'm very partial to my old 970 reference cooler, because it was my first big graphics card and I was super, so proud, but... I do like the uh, power pens on the end, as opposed to the top where they usually are, it just makes it clean. Believe it or not, my first like major big graphics card that I ever bought was a 970 Hall of Fame Edition. Back when the Hall of Fame Editions were actually... You could only get them during like tournaments and overclocking stuff. The first like actual enthusiast card I had was a 750 Ti. That's fair. Which I bought off Newegg in 2014, June of 2014. So See, super clocked 750 Ti. I, <laughs> I had I was no never power even... connectors. It took all the power from the slot. Ooh. I was never even able to actually game on that card at all That's because good. I bought no. Well, I bought it for. I forgot what I bought it for, like 300 bucks, and then uh, a guy offered me like 500 for it. And I was like, oh, well, that's a stupid, why would I say no to that? No, I, I really enjoyed that card. That was, it overclocked okay. You could just push a little more megahertz out of it. It was power sipping. It just holds a special place in my heart. And I bought a Strix 970. Really? Yeah. I had a, just a reference card. I actually got it from Best Buy. My parents bought it and gave it to me for Christmas. <laughs> Oh, how times have already... And now I'm trying to buy another reference card from Best Buy. <laughs> oh, how the times have yeah, turned. How the... how the tables have kept turning. Table turns. Turn tables. Yeah, so 3090. Not great card. Yeah. 3090 is still more exciting, but stock issues still. They're not in stock anywhere. Um, Newegg will restock a few a day, and then they're sold out within... Less than seconds. Less than thirty seconds. They're totally gone. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. Hi, um, Connor's mom. Hello. <laughs> Darn it! I just dropped a screw down in the little uh, like rubber thing, <laughs> and it fell out. straight through. And I was like, oh. It's not behind the motherboard. It fell through the case. My old my old power supply was a Roseville seven fifty watt. Had a screw stuck in it that I could never get out. <laughs> Low key, a big fire hazard. Didn't care. <laughs> Wait, it had a screw. You willingly I, used okay, it. So <laughs> I was screwing in my motherboard, right? And I dropped one of the screws into the grate of the power supply, oh, and yeah. I couldn't shake it out, so I just stayed in there. And so you're just like, ah, hey, uh, house PSA, never fire. People never do that. <laughs> do never, never take apart your power supply either, because there are capacitors in there yeah, that will that. absolutely kill you. And we do not want that. Listen, this is a do as I say, not as I do channel. <laughs> For multiple reasons. <laughs> I never burn the house down. I, I, that is saying something. I mean, especially with that... Uh... Rosewell? Yeah. It's, it's new I mean, Rosewell's actually it's a decent new brand. It's house brand. It's fine. Is it actually? Yes. Is that what Rosewell is? Rosewell is Newegg's house brand. Huh. Just like Insignia is uh, Best Buy's house brand. So if you see Insignia stuff, it's Best Buy made. Well... Someone else makes it, they slap an insignia label on it and sell the best one. That is interesting. I did not actually know that. Yep. So, this stuff's okay. They make some really cheap cases. If you never need a $30 micro ATX case, they've got you covered. I'm just waiting for Amazon to start getting into uh, PC component making. They, do, they already make some Amazon basic stuff. Not like components, but they make like keyboards and stuff. Yeah, no, I'm waiting for them to get in like the graphics card game. I don't think you'll see that happen. Or like the case There's, game. there's way too much. Amazon Basics has the advantage of they just take something already being made in China and slap a label on it. Oh yeah. But you know, there's way too much effort that goes into the design of a of a PCB and a cooler and all that power delivery, all that stuff. I mean I can see him doing like a computer case. A case maybe. Or an SSD or, or something. Or even like a power that. supply. Maybe. Because uh let's see. I'm not gonna be able to remember the brands. Corsair, EVJ, and Cooler Master Power Flies are all made in the same factory. And then it just, but the difference is number one, the you know wattage connectors, all that different stuff, and the branding on them. Well, also, just because they're assembled in the same doesn't mean that they're assembled from the same components. Right. That, that is also a big thing. And the amount of money that each unit is costing, or the manufacturer is being paid for it, determines the amount of QC and testing that they go through as well. So Steve did a tour one or two years ago of the factory, Floor Master. Uh, Powerfly factory and they have a wall of these PCBs and you take a newly finished unit you plug in a few different connectors 
and then it runs it for like 12 hours, checks all the voltages, and then they pull it off and put it in the box and sell it. Interesting. Yes, we are in the same room. Um, we're six feet, six plus feet apart. We're like eight feet. Yeah, that's perfect. You can actually see it on Andrew's cam. You can see the little blue, like blue yeah. over here. <laughs> So we kind of put it there so you can create that separation. Yep, as per the uh, CDC and other guidelines. You can see. You can we stay safe here. Yep. So that's we just this... don't talk about it because we talked about it way too much in our original stream. <laughs> that's also kind of why I sit here for a while without much to do. Yeah. Because we can't really work on the case at the same time. So we, you know, Hondo does cable management and screwing in the board and all that stuff. And I just wait to put in the graphics card. <laughs> Chris, what are the comments saying? You're just aggressively typing. Um, there's not a whole lot of comments. It's fair. <laughs> uh, Kevin's asking, what are we building today on Facebook? Um, We're building the gaming computer. <laughs> no, it's a uh, 1080p 144Hz uh, gaming computer for use with gaming and streaming. You know, got the AMD processor, got the NVIDIA graphics. Good stuff. <laughs> it's basically the best pairing right now, IMO. It, it really is. Especially for anything that takes threads, like streaming. And next week we'll have a 3080 build, just kidding, I wish. I, I really thought we would see a little more stock of those this week. I, yeah. I was really expecting Brick and mortar stores are starting to get a lot more in. Are they though? Yeah. I haven't seen any. <laughs> no, I mean, like, they're they're gone moment they come in but they're get, at least getting stock in yeah and I, I saw the line um i think it was the micro center in arizona they had an overnight line basically people trying to get 390s oh do you not watch uh bitwits no i don't watch his videos he did a he went out to one of the the he's in arizona he's outside of la or vegas isn't he no he's in la he's in la yeah oh, okay no. um no he went Jay's to in arizona sorry go ahead he went to a micro center to go to like interview people mm. and they were lined up there a week and a half before launch. No, I, one, I don't believe that. No, they actually were. They had, you can watch the video and it's actually really impressive. They made like a little community and like rules and they had online check-ins. And they have like a police force. Guys, it's a, it's a graphics card. Calm down. Seriously, watch the video. It's actually really impressive on what that. they did. You know how much, you know how long I waited in line for 3080? None. I woke up that morning, got on my computer and refreshed and websites crashed and that was it. It's actually really impressive. I had a very depressing day. But they had, uh, that micro center had 26 allocations of 3080s. Or no, excuse me, it had 84 3080s really? and mean, then 24 80. 3090s. That seems like a lot of stock. 84. And then they got another 10 on top of that. Uh, and there's thousands of people trying to buy these cards. So it's yep. darn shortages. <laughs> yes, yeah, it, I, they just didn't make enough to begin with. Honestly, I wish they had bumped the release back a month and had more available. I don't think, I think it was kind of more along the lines of NVIDIA had stock, but the actual they did, they suppliers didn't, the, didn't. They didn't give the board partners enough time to make cards. That's, that's that what was I'm saying, saying, basically. And my reason I wish they had bumped it back is that now people are watching these videos and all these great new cards. You know, Linus probably has seven 3080s that he's been playing with. Yep. The issue is people want to buy it, they can't. They go to eBay, oh, here's one for only $1,200. It's kind of supporting the scalping. Yes, it is. I will That's say my that. issue with it. So, you know, it's a $700, $750 card, roughly, and people are selling them for $1,500, well, $2,000. Founders Edition is $600. No, no Founders, Founders Edition is $600. $699. Plus taxes and shipping. <laughs> you were right. But, uh, yeah. So. Oh, well. Kind of like concert tickets. Indeed. You want to reintroduce the screen here in a sec? That's a good idea. So this is Silver Surfer. This is a gaming and streaming computer aimed at 1080p, 144 hertz gaming and streaming. So we have an AMD Ryzen 7 3800X. Connor has installed in the motherboard over there. You can probably still see it right now. <laughs> We've got 32 gigs of RAM. We've got dual NVMe SSDs. We have our 2060 Founders Edition, 2060 Super, excuse me, Founders Edition card. And our other, you know, normal components are the Strix board, Dark Rock 4, got some Seasonic power, Fantex fans, all that good stuff. But yeah, we've got plenty of, that 3800X is a 8-core 16-thread processor, and it'll probably turbo up to, what, 4.2 gigahertz, something like that, 4.3, yep, somewhere, somewhere in that neighborhood. 
So plenty of cores and threads to both game and stream at the same time, as well as a GPU horsepower for the games and even the NVENC encoder. So good stuff. I'm actually almost done cable managing. I'm just tightening it up. And we'll toss in the GPU, do a test boot, and... Well, I would put on the, the cooler. We don't need the cooler. It's fine. Just blow on the CPU. Just, just blow on it turn aggressively. It on. It'll be fine. Just hold an ice cube on it. <laughs> I still think about that freaking video where Linus had 8180 Platinums. These are $10,000 CPUs, and he had two of them in the board. Oh, yeah, and he just held He didn't cool. have a cooler, so he pressure mounted them by... He had, like, a block of metal in one and something in the other. It was pushing them into I the socket. I remember that. It was so bad. Not not really to cool, but... Uh, well, yeah, because they had to... There wasn't actually yeah. any mounting for them because the coolers mounted them to the motherboards. Yeah, with any CPU, but especially LGA, land red array sockets that Intel uses... There has to be pressure on the chip for the computer to work at all, because otherwise the pins and pads aren't making contact correctly. So, that's freaking sketchy. Yeah, that video. It makes so me cool. nervous to watch. Like twenty thousand dollars CPUs, you're just holding them in there. Yep. Come on, man. <laughs> Let's get some zip ties. <laughs> Let's just zip tie. Yeah, the fun. CPUs cost more than my car. Yeah. Yeah, it's real. Put it in that pieces, perspective. They're just pieces of silicon gone. They're so small. <laughs> when are we getting a 3990X, Chris? They're only $4,000. 64 core, 128 thread. Right. Your, your normal home PC is probably still a quad core. <laughs> One day. Need it. You think it's next gen Threadburst is going to have 128 core? Yeah. They're going to, they got to hit a wall at some point. There's no way they can just keep doubling it. It's currently the 36 winners on the way. Oh, perfect. It's on sale. Yeah. Maybe it'll be that's, like. That's not on sale. Maybe it'll have like a 72 core or something. Like scale a little more. Like it's just, just a little just bit. Just put another like. You know, I don't think. No, I, I legitimately don't think that they're going to have any more cores. I think it's just going to be core blocks. That's really think, what they're going to focus I on. I think they will gradually have more cores. Um, I think they will focus on that, like you said, more core clocks than IPC, so you can have a higher single thread performance, um, and kind of meet or surpass Intel. Yep, but I think they'll still gradually increase the core count, but it's, it, there's a practical limit, okay, they're really small. <laughs> yeah, there is a limit, that's the big Unless thing. Unless they just make the socket bigger, which is basically cheating. <laughs> yeah, they could. Alright. And, we have our nice cable management, looks nice. This cable here is for our, our graphics card. We'll yeah. tidy that up once we get it on in there. Yep. And actually, I'm going to toss in our cooler. Yeah, I just, I just looked down do. and I was like, hey, cooler. I, I just warned you about that. I know you did. Well, uh... Yeah, I have both screws. I was like, I don't. At least this one's easier than the Pro 4. At least I think so. Yeah, it absolutely The Pro, is. you have to like. You gotta put the screw there and hope it doesn't fall off while you thread the screwdriver through and stuff. You gotta like balance it perfectly. Yeah. You okay? Is this cooler mount like this? No, it should be the other way. Did you put the things on backwards? No, it's it, it can't. It always the flat side should be facing the exhaust fan. I know, that's what's confusing me. So I think you put something on backwards. Did I install the Intel? No, they're the AM4 brackets. Did you install them like the, the wrong? It's not a square. I don't know. You can't. Nah. Unless you just straight up use wrong brackets. No, those are the Intel ones. No, you can say it. Look. Get the instructions out, Connor. As you can see. I guarantee you. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely it definitely needs to go this way. That's how we got it. Yeah, but it can't rotate that way. Have either of you played uh, 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 Among Us? Yes, yes, I have played Among Us. It's a fun game. Where's the instructions? Uh, they're down in here. I'm telling you. Is someone on Facebook asking about Among Us? Yes. It's a fun game. You don't really need a 38 to play it. No, you it know Among Us fun. is actually a two-year-old game. No, I didn't know that. It just kind of blew up recently, I guess.
Yeah, it's a, it has them. It's all sideways, but like they wouldn't fit that way. Who's the imposter? So the it's kind of like a mafia style game. <laughs> um, if you've ever played one of those, so some two people usually get randomly chosen to be the imposters, and everyone else is crewmates. And you have to the crewmates try to finish their task and not get killed by imposters. But they can also if they see the imposter kill someone or they think they did, they can vote them out and eject them from the ship. Yeah, even the picture has it installed correctly. I know. I think you've done goof something. I did not done goof this. I think I think Asus just rotated their Because normally the Ryzen word is, is straight. No, it's not. Is it's always it? that way. It's vertical. Huh. Well, what? Ah, wait. No. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to use all my brain power left of the day to figure this out. <laughs> you is... see what I mean, though? Like, I put it in, no, I, I was like, ah. Uh... I do see what you mean. But, like. I mean, it'll work that way. That's not an issue. It's kind of an issue. Wait, these are for the Dark Rock 4. These are the 4 instructions. Did we grab the hardware for the 4? I bet That's you we happened. did. I bet you we did. Okay, I'll get the other hardware. Take the brackets off. Yeah. For the pro. Yeah, we grabbed it for the pro. So we had two dark rocks that they, uh, them two over here were opening up and uh, messing around with. I was like, uh, yeah, you, you saw I, it too, because I, I was like, this doesn't make sense. I knew this couldn't be correct. I knew something was messed up. So that'll be for Monday's build. So this never happened. That was a good catch on the dark rock pro versus the, the mm. normal. What can I say? My brain is massive sometimes. Yeah. But no, Among Us is a very fun game. <laughs> Just Among Us. Yeah, I'm trying to derail back. Those are the cut brackets. Hey, look, those are longer. You can put the old well, Yeah, put the old stuff in there. Yeah, I will. Because we'll need that for next week. <sighs> we sh I really That's do like so playing funny. Among Us, but... So Among Us is better when you're playing with friends in Discord and you can talk. What there you are say, Chris? It's okay. Yeah, you can. I'm fine. I, I was just going for like it the, the ambient interesting. lighting in the background. That looked fine. That's what we were going for here. I'm, I'm going to finish my Among Us right now. Go for it. So it is fun when you're playing Discord with friends and you can voice chat. Because you're only allowed to talk during the meetings, emergency meetings. Um, or, or when someone finds a body which triggers a meeting. Um, if you, you can play in public lobbies and ch text chat with each other. But it's a lot more fun if you're accusing your friends and you know you know you try to figure out who's lying based on their personalities it's a good game yeah, fun game it's a lot like town of salem which is kind of an yep. old mafia game another good game that's been going around as of late is uh fall guys game. i feel like that one's already dropped off honestly it yeah it kind of has they had a big issue with tons of hacking and that kind of just killed it immediately <laughs> i haven't played it recently one thing that frustrates me about this case is that little like uh, back panel for the SSDs? Yeah. Blocks your access to then your plate on the back here, your mounting plate. Oh. Ah, there we go. Let's grab all these screws. Man. No, I need those screws. They're the same screws and the same spacers. Just use the ones from the fine. Look at these. Yeah, just you just need the brackets. Okay. Ah. Throwing my spacers. That's not a spacer. These are. Oh. Can help. I know. Okay. Well, we had one hiccup. Did if this is the only hiccup that we have, that's um, fine. Yeah. Of course, before the stream said, I said, you know, before we started, this is uh, the parts we use often, so we should be quick at it. And yep, then proceeds we to were install the wrong hardware. Hard hey, it was the right hardware, just for the wrong cool. Yeah, we were sabotaged by ourselves, basically. That's funny, that's a great catch though on the Dark Rock Pro versus normal. I was like, they have the same mounting hardware, but then I realized, like, ah, uh, they, they don't. <laughs> yeah, the other one goes the other way. So I'm gonna try to keep everything for the car coolers together. I believe these are clips for this one. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna need clips here. So. Yeah, those other clips are over there. I can put those with this stuff when you're done. Woo! Uh, I had to hold the back plate on while I was screwing those in. 
see, building PCs is not all just like putting in like well, If you didn't have tons of parts, it'd be easier. True. Yeah, we did completely separate. There's, there's always some issues. This is also why you don't unbox things before you actually put them on the table, Chris. Hey. <laughs> Especially when both the brown boxes of information have, no have no exactly the no same. No writing on the outside. Yeah. Hey, we were short at it. I think we had time. We had a very time. Yeah, this is just, we're just padding our runs. Oh, I need the right. mounting bar. You had it. I was not expecting you, you to You said it. toss. I realized that I said toss. <laughs> Don't ask for what you can't do. Hey, you, can't you could have mounted me. this the way that I have. I could have. It just, it wouldn't have... Then and then we would have pulled out the the Pro Four and been like, oh, then we crap. would have to mount that one. Yeah. That would have been zip tie land. No, no that one would have mounted. You just would have had to do it vertical. That's, that's not what we want. I know it's that's not. not the, that's not the top flight experience and quality. It is not. Looking for Mr. Zip tie man himself. I've never done that on a top flight computer. <laughs> that that is fair. You have not. How many fans go on this one? One or two. One. Oh no. I don't know how to say fan is famous. No, fan. Oh. Uno. I heard I don't know how to say one in Spanish, not fan. I know how to say one. I actually did very well in high school Spanish, I'll have you know. I did not. I mean, I did. Did you have to take a language in college? I feel like it wasn't no, part of our I did not. Because I didn't have to take it either. I te no, I tested out of it. Well, I, I didn't test out of it. I tested into the second level, but then I never had to take that second level. Oh, it's so I'm no, just... I completely tested out of it, but I was never really great at hey, Espanol. They, they sent me a diploma, and no one said you have to go take Spanish, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> well, so, no, we're good. Yeah. TLDR. Oi, me. Oi, es... Es... Uh, Oi, es... Uh... Miraculous is Thursday, right? All right, I'm gonna end this topic now before I embarrass myself. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, where are you going? It's been many years since I took it in high school. And it has been a week. Because I'm about to turn 25, so I am in fact an old man. Go. Good for you. And to Andrew, I will toss this on over to you once I put this last fan on. All right, that's good, I'll prepare. I even took off the PCIe brackets already. Thank you. That was too much brain power for a Friday afternoon. I told you to figure it out. Uh, you did. I was honestly expecting we were going to be sitting there for the next like 10, 15 minutes <laughs> trying to figure this stupid cooler out. Still, still not as bad as Will's uh, cooler experience. What cooler did he use? Chris, you remember? That was like Hyper 212, wasn't it? No, I think that was that was the dual power FanTech cooler on Grim. That's that was, right. That yeah, was, that was turned around. Yeah, it was a weird one, and he took literally what, like 20, 25 minutes trying to figure it out. I mean, that remember that one day that I did motherboard stuff here? We had the 212 Evo. Yeah, and you're. I mean, no, no. That he, thing is terrible to mount. I Will, do. unfortunately, like, Will is an amazing guy. You guys can go back and watch some of the streams that we have with him uh, before Andrew. But yeah, he was like full on, like bullet sweating, like <laughs> like like he just got back from like a surgery or something. It was great. Let me turn this so I can see it a little bit. I'll show you guys in a second. I'm just trying to get this cable in. And he fights screwdriver. Uno mas, one more. We have a box wall to show all of the graphics cards, GPU, well, the GPUs and graphics cards, which is the Te same thing. All of our coolers, they're not the same thing. A lot of our coolers, a lot of our CPUs, our thread rippers that we have used. And now we have the Be Quiet screwdriver foam. I don't I don't even know what to call it. Technically the GPU this is a chip. This is true. This is probably a fourth of what we have, I would say. Because we've given a lot of them away, we've used a lot of them, we've probably thrown some away. We've thrown accent. some away. Is this in frame, Chris? Oh. You probably need to move it yes, to the right. Oh. I'm trying to make sure the power cable can reach without pulling over any lights. Yeah, don't let's not do that. Let's not repeat that. Again, yeah. Again. Alright, so let's uh, plug her in here and give her a quick test boot. Lights flickered. We That's have a good fans. sign. 
the fans will, while the computer is doing what's called memory training, so it'll power off and power on a few times trying to figure out this, basically the speeds that it needs to be able to run everything and what kind of hardware is inside of it. So it's identifying that as it turns on and off. Yeah, first time boot. Only. Yeah, for the first time. Or when you change something. So it'll ramp up, ramp down, ramp up, ramp down. It sounds like it kind of leveled out, so odds are it's probably trying to figure out a postcode now. Boop. And we have a boop. That green LED. Perfect. Yep. Beautiful. So this has been Silver Surfer. 1080p and 144 hertz gaming PC. If you guys enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow our Facebook page or both for more. Good. Our Facebook group. <laughs> first shirt, first uh, use of shirts I've gotten. Uh, our Facebook group is Top Flight Computers, but you can also join the Top Flight Crew. Which is the QR code if you can scan it. Probably not. Probably, not. probably very too small. Almost definitely not. Uh, you can also, if you join Top Flight Crew, we have a buy and sell page group. Uh, you can check us out at topflightpc.com and you can inquire about a build there. Look at our gallery of previous builds. Let's see. We don't really use Twitter and Instagram, so forget about those. The only thing I will say is if you do join the buy sell group, please try to limit it to computers. And lamps. And lamps, apparently. But just computers. There's actually a really cool monitor up there right now that I'm debating on buying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like the, the giant, like, ultra, ultra wide oh, one. Oh, no. Yes. Anyway, yeah, so. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we will catch you on Monday when we have another build. Indeed we will. So join us back on Monday at 6 o'clock. You know where, you know when. We'll see you there. Goodbye. <laughs>